Hey friends, this is Jared Walther here. Just wanted to give you a quick update from today. We did an outreach at Meadow Park Apartments and we saw at least two, three, four, five people healed. Little boy's wrist got healed. Another um, young man's knees got healed from a sports injury. They're all swimming at the pool there that was open at Meadow Park. Uh, we had the ladies praying for another woman. We met a, a really cool uh, young woman uh, named Rayanne from Sudan. She's been in the United States for one year. Her asthma was healed as we spoke. She said that um, usually she cannot breathe when she's outside because of the air quality. It really affects her lungs. And so she said she could breathe perfectly normal. And then at the airport, dropping off my uh, in-laws, my suegros, we, I prayed for the um, cashier as I was getting some drinks for my boys. And she didn't have the back pain I thought she had. I'd asked her, I said, I feel like maybe the Holy Spirit showing me a back pain. She said, no, but I do have calf pain. I guess she worked at the uh, Coliseum or the, the football stadium. And she went up and down the stairs so many times that she wore out her calves. So I said, well, the Lord likes to heal that too. So I just grabbed her hand. I said, in the name of Jesus, pain go that quick. And uh, I said, check it. And she was like, oh, my gosh. So she was, was healed. I said, do you follow Jesus? She said, well, I'm Catholic. I said, well, that's good. You're Catholic. I said, do you follow Jesus? Do you make him Lord of your life in area, every area of your life? Have you repented? She goes, well, I go to church. I said, well, that's a good start. But I, I just pray that the Holy Spirit would work on her and bless her. And I just told her that Jesus loves her so much and that she's blessed. And so I just wanted to bless you guys to know that uh, every opportunity is available for you. Even if you get it slightly wrong, you can still press in, find the anointing, and pray for healing no matter how big or how small. So God bless you guys. Just really wanted to encourage you today that God's doing great things in the Tri-Cities. He's doing great things through our team. And he's doing great things in the churches that are being impacted by our team. Uh, from Hope Tri-Cities to uh, Christian Life Fellowship in Finley to um, the other Foursquare Church uh, ran by Pastor Mel in Kennewick to uh, Pastor Gordon Walsh's church, New Heritage Church out on the Canyon uh, Badger Mountain Road over there, uh, south of Leslie. So we're just really seeing a lot of churches, a lot of ministries come together. On Saturday, we had our monthly Ascend Apostolic Center meeting. We had uh, so many ministries there. I think it was our largest meeting yet. And the, the one that, that two that really highlighted uh, to the team and from the Lord was really highlighted was Mitch leading Point Man Ministries. Uh, he was a ranger, special forces, and he is in charge of the veterans program, helping them work through PTSD. And that's something that's near and dear to my heart through family members serving in the United States military. And we also had Margarita Aliman who is the ESD123 area coordinator for the Tri-Cities. And we're praying and believing for uh, the Senate to pass funding to bless our after-school uh, after programs that really bring a wellness to the family unit, and especially in Kennewick. So we're praying for those blessings. We're praying for those breakthroughs. Those are two ministries I wanted to highlight that the Lord was really blessing. And they were touched uh, immensely by the team that prayed for them and all the words of knowledge and the prophetic words and I believe Mitch's back was healed. He had broken his back three times in the service and the Lord gave Dave Colby a word about uh, serving a military veteran with back issues. And uh, so it looks like the Lord really had those two ministries focused. So I want to invite you, if you are connected, if you run a business, if you're part of the government, if you're part of the media, if you're part of a family unit overseeing family affairs in the city, if you uh, work in the arts and entertainment, if you are on the religion mountain and you run a ministry, I want to invite you to the next Ascend Apostolic Center meeting. It's the second Saturday of every month. And let me look at the calendar here to see what next month is. That would be July 8th at 17 North Ion Street, Kennewick, Washington, 99338. And it starts at 9 a.m. It comes, uh, we usually do scrambled eggs, bacon, bagels, coffee, juice, and some fruit. And it'd be a good time to meet other like-minded ministries 
that are coordinating and going the same direction. And you may be able to help them. They may be able to help you. We just want to encourage you, if you run a business, you own a business, or the manager, you work in government, you work in finance, you work in uh, media or arts and entertainment, if you work with families and run after-school programs, anything to do with families, you're an educator, uh, you're on the education mountain of influence for the society that we live in, or if you have a ministry that the Lord's brought you into, or you just want to get aligned with any of those things and need to find out how to get going. Again, I want to invite you July 8th uh, at our building, the Ascend Apostolic Center building, uh, 17 North Ion Street, Kennewick, Washington, 99336. And that is July 8th, 9 a.m. So uh, God bless you. I pray you have a wonderful Sunday. It's great weather here in Kennewick. It's 71 uh, for the foreseeable future. I think next week it gets up in the 80s, but that's pretty good for June. So God bless you guys. Love you much. Praying for you. And I'm praying for a blessing in your life. So, Lord, bless everyone that's watching this video. I encourage the Lord to restore your vision and your hope and that you begin to light on fire as a burning one for Jesus Christ in any area of service that the Lord's called you to. Amen. God bless you.